friends, my name is Moneyness, and one of my favorite people around these parts, Sam from Thoughts on Tomes, recently did a video about DNFing. DNF stands for did not finish, and these are the books that you start and quit for whatever reason. Her video, which I will of course link, got me thinking about my own bookish habits, and I'd like to talk to you today about my eternal book optimism. You, Moneyness, a book optimist, you say? Yes, friend, me, because this is what I mean. Once upon a time, I used to be the kind of reader that would pick up one book and stick with that book until I finished it. I can't say when that pattern started to change, but I feel like it's a later 20s development. I am now usually reading about three books at a time. I don't have any issues with this habit at all. It's a personal preference thing, if you ask me, but I know that some people get weirdly down on themselves for being the kind of reader that spreads their attention. I say that as long as you are enjoying yourself and understanding what you are reading, this should not be an actual problem. I also used to be the kind of reader that would stick with everything to the end, just stick it out until I read the complete thing, and for the first few years of Goodreads, and this might still be true, the only book that I marked as DNF was The Shack. When I started reading more books, I found myself putting aside more books, and this is where the optimism kicks in. I always consider it putting a book aside. Guys, I am so convinced that I'm going to get back to that book. I can't mark it as DNF because there's a part of me that looks at these books and just thinks, soon. Ah, uh, soon. That really vague word that I use way too much because I have no concept of my own time limitations and think that I can get to everything soon. If I thought about it, honestly, I'm sure I could look at some of these books and go, never gonna happen, but it's like my brain can't even. Now, I have no problem thinking this book isn't doing it for me and putting it aside, but it's attaching the forever portion of that that really trips me up. Interestingly enough, this kind of wishy-washy abandonment usually happens with books that I would consider two or three stars. If a book is terrible, yeah, I'll finish that crap because I'm going to want to talk about it. If a book is meh, that one I'll more easily put aside and go maybe later. So that's me. I'd love to hear your thoughts and your takes and your habits when it comes to reading multiple books and also DNFing. Now I'm going to share with you all of the books that I've put aside that are totally not DNF, okay? I'm totally going to get to these. First is 1Q84. I've started this book two times and can vividly remember the opening scene with the lady in the taxi cab and then using like the maintenance access stairs to get from some place to another place. Like those details are really fresh and vivid in my brain. I don't, I think it might be a size thing with this one that it was a little bit intimidating. I wasn't uninterested, I just, put it down and never felt motivated to pick it up again. Second is Above by Leia Bobbitt. According to Goodreads, I got 40% in and the last update I made said that I found the premise interesting, but that the action was a little confusing. My last words were, I will finish it though. I will. Next is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I was so hyped up about this book before it came out. I even mentioned it in a video. And I've started this one twice and haven't made it past page 57 of 400. I don't actually have words to express why it isn't connecting for me. And I feel like I will finish it, especially now because I finished Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I loved it. So I'm curious about more of her writing and maybe now I'll pick it up and be a little more motivated. Next is The Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. This is another book that I've actually started twice. The next time I attempt to tackle this, I will do it with an audiobook and read along, and I feel that might help kind of the slower scenes pass along for me, especially because I've already seen the first season and so much of that beginning setup is very, very similar. So maybe the audiobook will help me in that regard. Next is Tiger Lily by Jolie Lynn Anderson. I got through 16% and do not remember anything about it except for maybe a medicine man. That's all I got. Next is The Opportunist by Taryn Fisher. With this, I remember thinking it was a little tropey and generic and not being in the mood for either of those things. I mean, I don't know when I'm going to be in the mood for tropey and generic and pick this back up again. Again, but that was my logic. Next is The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. I have now had this book on two book club picks, like picked twice for different book clubs or buddy reads that I was doing, and I still have not finished it. I haven't made it past page 13. Next I have An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I am on page 299 of 446. I am so freaking close to that ending and I just cannot make myself read the rest of this yet. Next and also in my physical library is Vanishing Girls by Lauren Oliver. I read the first 114 pages in one shot and then put it down 
and never picked it back up again. And another one that I own is The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier, which you are probably tired of seeing on my videos. I read the first 46 pages in one, maybe two sittings, which is not very impressive if it was two sittings, but you know, 46 pages and it's been on my TBR list since May. A lot of these books, it's hard for me to say why I put them aside because a lot of times it has to do with like reading moods and things that I'm going through personally and not necessarily with the book, though like I said, three star reads are generally easier for me to put aside and not come back to and not have the motivation for me to come back to. It's difficult to put into words exactly what about the book is is lacking or is missing for me because I haven't finished it. In a lot of these cases I haven't gotten far enough into it for me to identify it more than just a feeling of like, okay, this isn't working for me. If I sat down and forced myself to think about which one of these books I'd actually finish in the near future, they would be 1Q84, A Darker Shade of Magic, Vanishing Girls, and An Ember in the Ashes. Are the others DNFs? Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys soon. I read the first 114 pages in one sh- Ooh. I- I have to finish this. I feel like I will finish it, especially because I recently finished Vicious. 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 I finished a Vicious.